Hi Alan, this is Invisible with you again, playing Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. In the last part we have uh, obtained so many new items. In this episode we're going to be finishing everything that is about side quests or so <coughs> in order to prepare for the final showdown, or the final fight. So let's begin by walking around and trying to uh, get some more scalps. Because right now we have a very big wallet. <coughs> if you're smart enough, you're going to get it right. We're going to uh, purchase every single monster from the monster shop with that. And we're going to try our best to purchase everything that we didn't need to purchase. But first things first, you'll need right now to go and hit forward to the um, sun shrine island in order to use the portal inside it yes we're going to go back to abydus cool jump sphinx and as you remember from the last time uh, Toot was <coughs> captured by Set and his um, vizier, vizier and because of that, we're not going to be able to control him ever again, for the meantime. <laughs> I swear if you can see how I'm sitting right now. Oh, Master Amhotep. Hi. Sphinx, it seems that Anubis will not be satisfied until he has all the crowns in his position. With the second crown of Philippolis, his collection will be almost completed. And by the way, we ha already have the last two uh, crowns. And I told you, if you went to Anubis right now, it will be one way and without return. So that's why we're going first to go to Abydos and finish our work inside it. Then we're going to return back to <coughs> Anubis after we finish everything that side quest for us. So, let's see what uh, the hell are we are going to do. And by the way, I want as well to give a so special thanks for Slugger Cruel 85 for uh, my noble commenter for <coughs> giving me extremely priceless information about the ancient Egyptian mythology. I'm going to tell you about it uh, after we finish the side questing section over here because it freaking has so much information that you really would like to know about. Um, I told, I asked him to give me some information about the Sphinx, about Imhotep, about Set, Osiris, and so. And you will never believe how much references this game have about this game has about these things. Um, before we do anything else now, jump over here, break it for some scarab and almost lost um, hit points. Go to your right to the museum to return for them the final piece of stolen jewels. Or so I do believe. Um, as I told you, we'll need to purchase every single one of the monsters inside the monster shop and donate it here to get the golden uh, certificate thingy. By the way, jumping over here will not make you to go any uh, faster, but I'd like just to jump. Anyway. Hello, sleepy looking guy. Bird thingy. You have recovered another piece of jewels? Yes, I actually have two of them. Ah, ah, standing, you have recovered the stone jewel of Ore... Uh, Is Ureus a name of an uh, Egyptian god? U-R-A-E-U-S, maybe. However, as a token for our gratitude, please accept this golden ank. Thank you so much. Now we have obtained the fourth piece of ank. Great, now we have the ability to get another one. Took them again to give him the last one. 
Outstanding. You've recovered the Sunlin Jewel of Winnie. Is it again a uh, name of an Egyptian god? I don't know. W E N I. However, as a token god, you please accept this golden ant piece. Wonderful! The last one! You have restored the dignity of this city. The jewel collection means so much to us. We have, n we can never thank you enough for what you have done. You can thank me enough if you give me 100 golden ant pieces. I can't believe I just got started with my own laugh. <coughs> Thank you so much for recovering our jewel collection. <laughs> Since we don't have any new monsters in our pocket, we can't really do much with this guy over here. <coughs> our generous whatever. Um, half brute. Two of them, take one. Another half brute. Um, however, we have a collection. Fine, we don't want it. Then, fine. <coughs> Let's go to the jewel collection and talk to the sacrifag to know if he has anything to do to talk with us a lot. Yes, congratulations, guys. We have obtained every single of these jewels. <coughs> Read it, please. This jewel was kindly donated by Lady Nut, renowned re re for holding the most extra extra advantage wedding ceremony. The number of guests in the attendance ex exceeded the population of the town in which it was held. Ownership of this jewel is said to be enchant those who carry it with unfailing honesty. The legendary bandit Septa, Septa donated this jewel to the museum <coughs> for turning himself in to the <coughs> authorities, confessing <coughs> to over 200 crimes. Crime criminals act wow. When curing began many countries ago, many uh, centuries ago, this jewel was discovered deep within the bowls of the desert, convincing of a greater wealth deeper down. The king who <coughs> did the extra excavation caused the death of a thousand slaves. Only after these innocent lives were lost did he concede that no more treasure would emerge from the depth. Talking about a greedy king. <coughs> so many people claim to be rightful owner to this jewel that uh, the the DJ wait a minute DJ the God D Jad Jad Dijad Jat Tribunal <laughs> was held in Thebes, <coughs> for which there was a record number of 312 defenders. Defenders. So confused <coughs> was the great king, the great Kenbet, who prized it over the case. He eventually entrusted it to Abedis Museum, for which his cousin, the mayor, is grateful. I'm wasting time here reading about the jewels. How nice! <coughs> this enchanted cobra-headed jewel was discovered on a battlefield pro protruding from the chest of fallen king, used to deliver the foul blow in the war that have that left no survivors <coughs> nothing remains of this tribe who f fought the last one is legend tells us about this jewel was encased in the stone that fell from the sky many years ago while there is little to support this the creator <coughs> the crater in which is in which it was discovered does from the same shape as the jewel itself Whatever. 
Just took this uh, tech back over here. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Now all the jewels have been returned. My conscience is finally free of guilt. You are incredible. He wants to say anything else? No. Okay, sacrifice. Goodbye. <coughs> and we're not going to return to the museum until we have every single last of the monsters that we have. By the way, about the listed monsters, I don't believe we're going to return it just yet. Because, well, <coughs> as I told you, I'm not going to 100% this game. It's too hard to be 100%ed. But I'll try my best to get the most of it. <sighs> okay, now, what are you going to do? First things first, go break this thing to get some more scraps if possible. Good work. We have right now f 411, great. Which means we can right now get some more even scraps. As I told you before, we're going to be able right now to, ho to handle over 900 scraps which means this is a great opportunity for for you if you want to go play some mini games <coughs> in order to win them anyway let's just go right now and check the beast or monster store in order to know how many or uh, how much money we need to get to obtain them all so we can you know um give them back to the museum to get our golden certificate Anyway, come to this way, we go to your left, and watch for what the hell we didn't yet. Okay, we give them this, I believe, the small frog. We didn't yet give them this one, 300 scraps. Mummy bird, no, uh, not yet. The <whistles> Shatter Leacock bird needs 900 scraps itself. 700 for featherless turkey. A shell critter, 30, uh, 360 scraps. 100 scraps for a rat. Did we take this one or did we take this one? The first time we came here. I do believe we did take this one, not this one. Take this one. Yes. I'd like to buy more. Uh, no. <coughs> From this one. 360. Can we buy it? Yes. So you don't have enough money to buy that. Fine. What about the turkey? Over here. 300. And I have just lost all my money to 13 scraps only. Anyway, as you have said right now, we need to come to this place step by step. I hope that bird thingy to be freaking, um, what do you call it, unique. So it really deserves all this money, 900 scraps over just a bird. Anyway, let us just go to your left and go right up over here. Yes guys, we're going to go back to the museum and donate our stuff that we have just obtained. Don't ask me why I keep on... Uh, Performing somewhere else, or as you call it, the double jump, because I just love to jump a lot. Ow. <coughs> okay. The electric ones over here are freaking very bad in their own organize. So now let me see over here. Ouch. Ow. Okay, yes, I uh, have some stuff to you. Give them <coughs> the rat. A rat, a dirty creature that scuttles around. Why, thank you. Okay. <coughs> Give them the other one that we have just uh, got. A uh, mummy bird. A mummy bird. Bandages over most of its feeders. Why, thank you. Do you, have, do you want anything else? Something like... Mummy worm, another mummy worm, okay. <coughs> Something like Ixobirana, no. 
How many monsters have we been giving this guy? I'm not sure myself. <laughs> anyway, I definitely believe that I'm going right now to go to my left and save my game. So, you know the drill. Like and favorite if you enjoy, subscribe for more videos in the future. Please comment. Thank you, Slugger Crew85, for commenting on every video that I make. And I have to see in the next video of this walkthrough. So, right now, this video's question is. Have you ever went to a museum and I do believe I already asked this question but anyway what's the most thing that makes you to go to museums what's the most thing that you want to see that was it so that now invisible looking out <coughs> see all guys later and good luck here comes I'll the slash Sphinx can would you mind to give them one come on camera you always play retarded with me why not right now Sphinx, please here, shut now. There he goes. Alfred Slash.